Like, the following film is rated A for artsy, but it's, like, too mainstream for me now. So, I don't, like, care anymore. Yo, I'm, I'm I just like gonna walk taking. here, look around. Yeah, I like what I'm digging. See if I could find some treasure. Yeah, I like what I'm some digging. Some people, they call it mudlarking. I like what I'm doing. I'm the mumble rap mud lark, king of New Do York. Like Gonna digging? pull a Yogi Berra and take all Do the forks. Like they are stuck in the ground with the Ebbetsfield yeah, mound. Like and all the ghosts who think that Robert Moses Do a clown. Like what the island ain't barren, there are ghosts all yeah, around. Like Dead horses, the bay. Bust the cap in the you sound like you're, you're never really dead Martyred stardust yeah, compound like You're just a planted seed In this potter's yeah, ground like the mumble. Look over there There's a bottle Do digger like over there digging? And another hipster over there Do With you a like mustache what you're Watch out, park police Give her another ticket Do you like what you're This is a national park Bro, it's just This garbage. is a national Do park it's like just garbage. Garbage. Did you hear it? This is a treasure. Bro, yeah, this is just garbage. garbage. Bro, it's just garbage, bro. This is a treasure. It's just garbage. I'm cleaning it up. Shame you not. Yo, I'm cleaning I'm it up. Sitting it for. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. Posterity. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. Don't clean. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. We love it. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. Don't clean. Yo, I'm cleaning it up. We love it. Do you like what you're digging? The devil curses a lot. Do you like what you're digging? I said, yeah. Do you like what you're digging? Well, kind of. Yeah, I like what I'm digging. But you're not supposed to dig here. We now bring you to a mudlarking adventure at Dead Horse Bay with Metal Detecting NYC. Hello, and hopefully you're still here and not horrified by the progressive, we'll call it progressive, video so far. The rest is going to be mudlarking at the amazing Dead Horse Bay. I've been trying to meet up with Adele. Oh yeah, if you are here for the first time, you probably don't know who Adele is. Adele is the local a mudlarking legend of Dead Horse Bay. There's nobody who knows Dead Horse Bay better. Today she's going on a hunting trip, uh, but uh, <laughs> one of these days we're going to meet up again here, and I think uh, sometime very soon. Fortunately, we're both Jedis, so she sends a message to me telepathically. I know how to f***ing look, you numbskull, because I think you're such a, 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 a nincompoop. As you can hear, she's very shy, and sometimes she does not share her opinions. <clears throat> yeah, right. So, unfortunately, she is uh, not in this video live, but uh, we, we she taught me a lot. And uh, I'm going to be employing the practices uh, that she taught me uh, to mudlark Dead Horse Bay. Plus, somehow, someway, she's going to have a cameo in this video. So today, uh, no metal detector because it's pointless in this section of uh, Dead Horse Bay. And uh, the beach is less sanded in than it was in the fall. So I'm going to go for eyesight, uh, true mudlarking today. And I'm looking for round objects. That's not one I want, but uh, you know, something like that. As you can see, there is a main debris line going down. Ooh, what's this? This is interesting. Don't know how much I want to... Uh, keep touching this I don't know if it's a medical eh, it's not no um, yeah I'm gonna be walking down the debris field here looking for items what is this this is round round and beaten up nope now again if you, if this is your first time watching a dead horse bay video you're probably like wait what's dead horse bay well, think of it as uh, a part of a place called Barren Island, uh, which was since landfilled in. And uh, it was a site where New Yorkers uh, buried uh, a lot of garbage over a long period of time. And there was a poorly capped landfill, thus my line in my mumble wrap, uh, bust a cap in the bay. Um, long story short, uh, the 
old garbage is spewing all over the beach, and uh, you can really find some interesting stuff. I know that sounds horrid, and I know, uh, you know, some of you might be uh, like, oh, that's totally gross. How could you do that? Oh, the stuff that you find. Look at this. It's a bottle top that's glass right here. It's broken. But still, must have been a uh, beautiful piece when it was, uh, you know, fully intact. Nice little piece of pottery here. All right, first score of the day. This is a keeper. Uh, this is an old, broken piece of jewelry, but still, uh, that's, uh, that's really nice. Well, this is a fully intact ink bottle. Parker... Massachusetts, USA. Yeah, I might keep this one. This is nice. I could tell I came a little bit late in the game today uh, because the uh, tides are already in and it really wasn't a big low tide, uh, you know, a really low one. So uh, I'm going to search the uh, shoreline. I'm going to walk down the shoreline and as the tides push me back, I'm going to go back. Um, but I'm going to go and look where the water is and do some digging. All right, got me a button. So uh, that uh, appears to have, uh, it, it's a little damaged, um, but I see writing over on the side here. So uh, that's something that I'm hoping to salvage. Well, might have found our first coin. Um, this needs some pretty heavy electrolysis, a lot of care. Also, it could just be a circular piece of iron. So uh, I'll, I'll test it on my detector. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get back. Well, we got a score from digging around. Look at this, it's like a star thingy. That, that's pretty cool. We got a marble. All right, I think I got a uh, wheat scent. If anybody lost their key in like 1938, uh, just message me on my uh, uh, YouTube channel. I'll, I'll get it back to you. Nice little round object here, screw on cap of some sort. Pure copper. I love these. These are fascinating. Look at this. This is a bottle that has not seen the light of day in a long time. Yeah, look at that. And look at the imprint so that it leaves. How cool artsy. is that? That is in the clay that we have here. Little plastic button. Ancient cap. Ancient razor head. And I just saw the, uh, you know, the holster part of it somewhere. All right, so here's the holster part of the razor. And the razor head, there we go. More pure copper. Well, I thought I found a ring for a second. Uh, it's piece of copper, I can't count this as a ring. I'm going for 100 rings this year, metal detecting. Want to see what happens to paper in a garbage dump over time? Look at this. See the print there? Now there's no way to salvage this, otherwise I would, of course, but look at this. It turns into like a clay-like substance. Look at those pages. And it's like this slimy clay <laughs> that happens. Crazy. All the water. Look at these. I see real estate. We just got a nice little coin. It's a, uh, it's just a wheat scent, but uh, it, it very green uh, to be in here. And far back. So uh, I'm gonna try far back since the tides are pushing me back. The top of an old key and, uh, ah, funky copper part. So we got more of this paper here. Could you tell I was having fun with that? And uh, look, look at the grayish color that is on it. It almost turns into a clay. Paper here. Clay-like material here. Look at that. That is what happens to, to paper. <laughs> I'm not saying it turns into clay, but it, you know, it, it's from organic material. It's from, uh, you know, the wood. Yeah, it, you know, it, it's, it's paper. But soon, I became less amused with the paper. I had to find some rings. In my world, rings equal Taco Bell. It was time to ask the great teacher of Dead Horse Bay. Adele, I'm really frustrated. What should I do? Take a walk, get out of the house. The, the, the tie goes in and out, it brings the son of a bitches up. Okay. See, the tie comes in, you, you wash it for top. 
I make believe I like it, I give it to the door. Got it. If they're here, I will find it. Okay. I think I have a ring. I hope I have a ring. The one before was not a ring. This one. I have a strong feeling it's a ring. Let's pop this out. Yes! We got a ring. Number three. Oh, that's Taco Bell. That is Taco Bell right here. Look at that. I wonder the material that this is. Now, gold can sometimes fool you. So we are going to shine that up and uh, we're gonna see what we got. That's a ring. Sweet. Look at this interesting old cap. Yeah, gotta clean this one up. I used to think that uh, these were bottle stoppers. This is a fuse. The ones I have at home though, I still tell myself they're bottle stoppers. The wild thing about Dead Horse Bay is every time you come, the ground looks very different from the previous time you were here. And I'm talking about even if, you know, you're, it's a day by day thing. If you leave uh, one night, you come back the next morning, it's gonna be all sorts of rearranged. So uh, <laughs> this time it's no different. That ring that I just found, it, it would have been uh, buried. You know, it's it just, it appears for the time being Look at this frying pan. It appears for the time being, and then it disappears. Shanks are everywhere here. Look at this. It's got a little hole in it. Another interesting circular piece here that I'm praying is a pocket watch, though I heavily doubt it. I have to say, this one was a nice surprise. It was not a pocket watch, but it seemed to be a old uh, makeup container, and uh, I was able to see the engravings on there. It's a hundred year old shoe and it smells absolutely delicious. Old tool. Old horse bone. Old object that can impale your foot. Here's more of that uh, paper. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like pure clay. Huh, toy car. Hit a collection point, got another penny, and uh, this object that has uh, some detail to it. Look at this, two irons together, one and two. Well, I get another interesting ringy thingy here. Wow, look at this interesting old circle here. This is, uh, could be something really nice. Oh, and what do we have here? I think we got another coin of some sort. Yeah, I'm in a good spot. I'm getting pushed out by the tides, but let's see what I could get. I think in order to do uh, Dead Horse Bay justice, you really, you know, to see the objects it is, uh, to, you really need to squat down. When you're standing, you don't get the right vantage point. So I look for circles, you know, and uh, anywhere that I see a circle, um, I tend to uh, think that round objects tend to accumulate in the area or could. And uh, I take my digging tool, move stuff around, see what I get. Sometimes the stuff that you find here doesn't make sense. Like you'll never be able to figure out what it is, but it's just beautiful the way that it uh, eroded and uh, decayed. Neat little shoe buckle. Back at the base of the wall now and uh, scraping around and uh, you know, this is what was just uncovered. I think this is the artsiest video of Dead Horse Bay I've ever done. But look at the colors. You know, you, you can tell a lot, um, you know, about the object. You know, that uh, this, for instance, has been exposed to extreme heat. Uh, you have some uh, oxidized iron 
here. Uh, anything that is green, obviously not glass, you know, is uh, copper based. Silver turns a really, really strange shade of gray. And gold is, uh, gold is kind of reddish here. So you really got to keep your eye out because it blends in with the iron. There's another thing that's like, what the heck is it? But it is strangely beautiful. So I'm going to keep it and possibly clean it. And if it's good, I'll show you. Next time I see you, Adele, you got this marble. It's another marble. Okay, look at what's happening in the absence of Adele. Where We're getting a marble collection just in one day. What the? This is madness. More marbles. Okay, it is marble day here. Look at this. Federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. And it says at the bottom, CIA Ron Carioca Dest Incorporated, 5442 San Juan, Puerto Rico. Hmm, shame it's chipped at the top. Still a, not one that you'd see today. All right, got a nice collection point here. Look at this, and I see a coin. So here, coin, got a uh, little horse ringy thingy. Some copper. These are the objects that I'm looking for right here. All right, from that same spot, got another coin, copper piece, a bottle top, which is really heavy. Um, wonder if it's pure brass, and a belt buckle. Another coin and another one of these neat little uh, buckle thingies. I'm telling you, a great spot to look is right at the uh, tide line because it keeps sweeping stuff away, you know, out and in. And, uh, you know, it uncovers some great stuff. Oh, another marble. I think this is the uh, cap of a jar. All right, look at this, especially the one in the bottom here. That That's kind of cool. Look at this. I, I, it's like an oval shape. You don't see stuff like that anymore. But it, it, this is weird. It's got screw yeah, holes. How do you screw? How do you screw an oval? Deep thoughts of the human race. How do you screw an oval? Can somebody tell me how do you screw an oval? This is crazy. How do you screw an oval? Some more scrap metal and a piece of uh, old jewelry that uh, I don't know, maybe a horse decoration some sort just got my biggest marble treasure this is huge this is a shooter marble <laughs> i always see adele with these but uh th this is my first so very happy about this this is huge another marble this is really odd look at this it's a big this is lead and it's got all these holes in it it's like a shower thing but this side doesn't have holes in it well what Comments people, help me out. What is this? Wow, look at the uh, handle of this bottle here. Another marble, look at this. This has the universe inside. It's the universe marble. So artsy. Uh, it's, it's a marble bonanza today. I, I can't believe this. Look, it's a set of uh, brass knuckles from back in the day. Mm. Well, not really. Another marble. More marbles. Some pretty cool gears. Two more wheat cents. You guys are always yelling at me for uh, digging without gloves. Got my gloves, first of all. Thanks to uh, Indiana Tones. Thanks, Lou. Uh, this is why you don't want to do it barehanded. Now, you know, yeah, you did see me with this tool today. But just as a safety precaution for anybody who comes here, uh, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to just uh, dig with your hands. It's another one. This is a rock that very badly wants to be a marble. And this is not a rock. This is a marble. It's a light flesh tone marble. Crazy. All right, so I'm at my point in the hunt. Uh, I, I, let's see. Let me go down my checklist. Got the ring. Got the uh, buttons. Um, I would like, at this point, a coin, 
preferably a silver coin. Um, I got pretty much everything else. I got a marble, lots of scrap. You know, here it's it's everywhere. Um, buckle got a piece of history. You know, now we're at the point where it's just like, all right, one more coin, then I'm good. And we got Taco Bell, of course. Okay, this is really cool. Look at this old, old ambulance here. And uh, tweezers and another, um, another penny. But uh, well, we're looking for something. Uh, drop the mic item. That's what we're looking for. All right, another marble. And we were talking about screwing ovals. Well, screwing uh, hexagons kind of makes a little more sense. I mean, wrenches can fit the squared edges, but, uh, you know, it's an oddity. I might have found my cool coin. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's a piece of copper, though. Um, was connected to another part. I was hoping it was silver, but you could tell here that this is copper. Well, look at this nifty buckle. Another wheat penny. They're, they're taunting me now. Yeah, that says Hercules. I've been finding Hercules a lot this month. Another penny and uh, whatever the heck this is. Scrap metal. Found a silver coin, but this is the bottom of a bullet shell. Strangely, this is the color that silver will be here. Key and uh, another piece of scrap. Found Mr. T's necklace. Is this one of those uh, cups? You know, like Stanley Cup prize trophies? Another funky piece of old machinery. Interesting piece. Another uh, buckle debacle. Best marble day ever. Look at this odd little piece. Uh, I think it's made of lead. But look at the, um, look at the side to it. Well, what is the purpose of this? That was a bizarre little piece. It actually had a flower that was um, carved into it on the inside. I found a triangle. All right, this qualifies as the uh, drop the mic signal right here. It's a pendant. That's in pretty good shape. Let's clean it up. Another penny, hoping for a silver on the way out. Well, apparently Marble Day is not over, and the thing is, I see the universe in this one. Yes! It has happened, look at this! Look at this, we got another ring. It's a two ring day. Two ring day, there we go. Taco Bell. That's number three and four for the year, look at this. And I believe this is silver, so I think I got my silver. Hold on, I got it out of the camera. That should be silver. Whoa, look! It's a bird. Okay. I found these two before. This is a, it's like a button with holes in it. It's got a survey purpose here maybe in an old phone uh, who knows man <laughs> this place is never lets you leave it is a um, old key and a thingy nifty look at this this is a old tube I think of some sort that's been uh, rolled up for a second, I thought I found an old coin, but it's just a, a gold cover of something. It's not made of gold, but uh, gold in. This one's the top of an old uh, salt shaker. Just got a parting gift. Look at this. It's a seashell. Copper. But, uh, you know, part of a chain or a keychain of some sort. That's pretty cool. All right, heading back to, back to the uh, car. We'll do a wrap up. And we'll do some we'll do some cleaning first, and then a wrap up. First things first, though, it's time for Taco Bell. I can see it. I see it down the road. We got a green light. We're almost there. Oh, just slow driving people! Come on. We're almost there. 
We're about to make a right turn. <sighs> tackle bell, tackle bell, tackle bell, tackle bell. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Seriously? Come on, Honda, let's go. Move your wheels. We're almost there. Right. Don't get in that drive through Don't, don't, yes. Yes. It's tackle time. What? What? Hello, Hi, how are you? Uh, can I get um, uh, the Mexican pizza two taco thing? The combo? Yep. Mexican pizza combo, what drink? Um, cherry Coke, please. Pepsi, okay? Uh, yeah, cherry Pepsi, yep. Anything else? Um, bean burrito, please. One bean burrito, that's it? That's it. Okay, 1008. Thank you. Pull it to taco Bell has been secured. So it is time to do some tumbling. Now I have Andre's crayons and they work great on coins that I find in the dirt, but it's a different, different type of crud that you get at Dead Horse Bay. So I have to tumble and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how I do it. My ingredients are water, vinegar, Salt and some CLR. All right, ready to tumble. All right, so it's wrap up time, and let's uh, let's take a good look at this. Uh, this was uh, quite a haul, so I guess let's start with marbles. We got one shooter marble, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, still going, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twelve, that's not a marble, nineteen marbles, we'll call it, two more beads as well. Um, so that was the best marble day ever. So pennies, man, all sorts of uh, wheat scents, some of which that I've cleaned. Uh, some didn't even make the video, but uh, tons of wheat scents. Um, now this, okay, this is from my last video uh, at Dead Horse Bay, but take a look at how this is cleaning up, and this is going to be a long clean. Um... Look at the uh, animal up here. You, you find these wild things and they slowly reveal themselves to you. It's like an old uh, music uh, what, stereo phone, I think it's called. So this is something that's seriously old. Last video again, but uh, you know, Dead Horse Bay, it's just, you take your time in cleaning this stuff. This was one of the cooler pieces uh, that I found. I was thinking nothing of it when I first started um, uh, finding it. But this is, uh, it, it's an old case. I thought that this was a pocket watch. It's not a pocket watch, but it's got, uh, it's got some old uh, powder in here. So it's for, you know, powdering your nose. My nose doesn't need powdering, so, um, but it's still pretty cool. My nose would need a lot of powder. Let's put it that way. Um, the rings, oh, come on, how can I forget the Taco Bell? One is gold in. I don't know if I could call it gold. I didn't see any indications that it's gold. This one is uh, 925. See the nice eagle creature here? A little spooky. Um, this is uh, engraved 925. So, got two rings. Hey man, a ring is a ring is a ring. Socrates himself said that, so you know we're we're happy with that. Got uh, the shell thingy. I don't know if it's a necklace or a keychain. That's cool. I like it. And oh man, this thing I really like. It, l listen, just listen. That is serious. Okay, <laughs> this thing is legitimately heavy. Um, they. 
think like a musket ball, but like twice as heavy. And this is, I think, all copper. So that's pretty cool. Um, man, where to, where to keep going with this? So I've got this, and this was the pendant, and it cleaned up, and it is a good luck uh, charm. It's got the horseshoe on that, good luck token, perhaps, that was turned into a necklace. Gonna have to really get a good look at this under the microscope, but um, I love finding these. This cleaned up nice, whatever the heck it is. This was the, uh, the bottle cap that I found. Um, so much stuff. This thing, little cup. So much just copper lying around, pure copper. You know, a lot of this might be scrapped. Nothing that's, uh, you know, uh, historic. You know, like, I'll keep these. I, I collect buckles. That's what the cool kids do, you know? Um, another big buckle here. It's a triangle. Found a triangle, man. Yeah, so... Eh. Dead Horse Bay is uh, a pretty, pretty spectacular place. This train wasn't much. I like these chains better. Yeah, so that's what a day at uh, Dead Horse Bay will get you. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here is the screw-on oval. See, look at that. It's got things that you twist. Again, how do you screw an oval? For the love of God, how do you screw an oval? I mean, the only thing I could see is if this was a circle that was bent. But, like, how do you... Ah, oh, this is bothering me. How do you screw an oval?